Tsunami Studios. Wonder Woman 772. A lot of stuff happened in this issue. You know, last time around, we ended things. We did, like, getting the Eagle Egg side quest. We gave it to the snake, and now we're seeing what happens with that. So, Diana bursts from the egg inside the belly of the snake. And you know, I'm right, right away, I'm like, this is dope. I love it. <laughs> She's just walking around in its stomach, just a bunch of ooze and everywhere. Dead people all around, just skeletons and armor and weapons. And you're just like, this is dope. The snake's like, you fool, you'll die from my vapors and my gases. And she's like, what are you talking about? And she dies. But we see again, she has that the vision she's been having for the, out the entire run so far of just, you know, this person like keeping watch of her saying no you can't do this like i know i'm not supposed to interfere but this time around the, the person goes i'm not supposed to interfere but i might as well just give you the key and you should figure out just to get out of here and fight like you, you just don't belong here please hurry up and get whatever it is you're about to do on the way with so she gets the key from this stranger that's been watching her die she comes out she she gets spit up by the serpent she crawls through the at like the stomach acids and shit and she's fine she runs away with ratatusk they head off onto a next mission but before they head out to where the battle is taking place with the asgardians she gets stopped by siegfried and he's like dude don't go find the valkyries you don't want to go down that rabbit hole kid it's not gonna be good you gotta trust me on this you don't belong here diana you should leave us be and diana's like well if he knew anything about me siegfried would know i'm not gonna do that so let's just go see what's happening on the battleground we see thor's just screaming like for victory my friends we shall do this notable win and do the right thing and then odin shows up and he's like ha dude relax just take a step back, okay? Like, come on, man. What, what are you doing here, son? You, you know, you think Balder has the answers you were looking for? Balder doesn't know shit, okay? Nothing matters here. And basically, Odin kind of like perplexes the idea that something is dying. Yggdrasil is dying. They don't really know what's going on. And somehow it's all connected to why Diana's here and why there's, this battle's being replayed over and over again. And Diana shows up at the time's like, I knew it. I knew there was something connecting all this stuff. And Odin is about to say, you know, what it is, what's really happening, and like, what's going on, why are these dead warriors, and then all of a sudden he gets hit by a big rock and dies before he could reveal the truths that happen. So Thor and Diana decide it's time to team up and go to battle against whatever evil plagues them. And, th and then, as they do that, it looks fantastic, Travis Moore's art is just gorgeous, gorgeous probably the best art on the shelves right now it is just perfect to every score of the word it just looks fantastic but as they go to battle we do get some narration next to the beautiful art and it's kind of describing the battle they are in the midst of and you see that they are fighting like the sea serpent this god of like the sea and something and seeing this creature on top of a giant crab it, it just brings this memory back to Diana of this man named Arthur, and she doesn't really know what it means or how it connects to her, but she just remembers this man named Arthur, he was very beautiful, he smelt like a tide, like a tide pool, I think is what she said, and like they, they worked together, they were part of a team, a team of heroes, and something like that, and suddenly she dies again because the crab pinches her, and the, the person who is watching her in death is like, alright, I've had enough of this, I don't want to do this anymore, I'm done, I'm going to interfere, let's get on with the story, let, let's, let's figure this out. And before we get the reveal, I was like, okay, who is this going to be? My first thought was, it it's going to be the Spectre, right? Because we saw Spectre in the Future State books with Wonder Woman. He was an infinite frontier of Wonder Woman. It's got to be the Spectre, right? Nope. We see that the person who is watching Diana in death being like, you're from Olympus. What are you doing here in Asgard, in Valhalla? We see that it's Dead Man. It's Boston Brand. And I'm just like, yes, please. I love Dead Man. He is one of the coolest and most campy characters. DC has the ability to play with him. Whenever he shows up, I am super ecstatic to see him. I like that he's here. It's very fun. So basically, he's like, I'm not supposed to be interfering, but Diana, like, what do you think is going on? You literally don't belong here. The squirrel knows it. I know it. Ragnarok is going to come for the Asgardians no matter what happens. There's nothing you can do to save this. Even for Siegfried, there's nothing you can do. It's time to go to Olympus. Everything is falling apart there more so than it is here. And then the ghost of Siegfried shows up again. He's like, he's not wrong. Everything here is going to fall apart. Leave me be. Leave us go. We are going to be trapped in this eternal hell forever. You got to leave us, Diana. You got to leave us. But she's like, I'm not leaving. 
you know, Boston's like, okay, I, I gave you one more chance, okay? I'm not going to be there to save you every time, Diana, so whatever, just figure your shit out. The narration comes in again, and we see that Diana and Ratatusk are on another path, they're on another story, just to see what's going to happen. You know, again, if you didn't get, like, the vibes for, like, a classic fantasy story, some of your Dungeons and Dragons stuff, or just, like, a Skyrim thing, it's all over this book. Just a, just a lady on a quest meeting different people who help her in, a, in previous stories and previous campaigns. That's what this is, and it's pretty dope. It is pretty dope to see. So Diana wanders into a forest where she meets the ultimate evil, and the ultimate evil is a reflection of herself, and it's just kind of making fun of her. I like it a lot. It's like, really, kid? What do you think's going on here? You think you're going to be able to win the day? Come on. I've murdered way more than you. Every person that's murdered in this life, I can control now. They don't go to the Valkyries like I know you want to. They come to me because I'm the most ancient evil in this world. And in this scene where like evil Diana is yelling at Diana, I'm just like, Todd McFarlane, man, you got to make these into action figures because they look sick as f***, dude. These look gorgeous. I would buy these any day of the week if they were action figures, man. So we see that like the souls or like the bodies of the fallen soldiers in the battle, they don't go to Valhalla. They come to this evil Wonder Woman witch thing and she like has an army of the dead. So then they start to have a fight. Everything's looking bad, but suddenly Diana does manage to kick the evil out of the creature that's blinding her. And we see that it's the spirit of Dr. Psycho. And again, great use of this character. I love that it's him in this because of Harley Quinn. He is popular again. Let's throw him in everything Wonder Woman adjacent. Great shit. It's really fun. So they defeat the evil. They continue on their mission. Classic, classic D&D stuff. It's just great. So they continue down the path. Basically, they're trying to figure out why should we even go to Olympus? Like, maybe I will when it's done, but I don't even feel like I'm from Olympus, you know? I'm like a person of so many different worlds. I don't know my true origin. I think that's a fun area to explore. We come to, like, this is the end of the way. There's a ferryman ready to take Diana across the bridge into the next life. And we see that the bridge is being housed by Odin. It's Odin. We saw him get killed earlier, but he's like, you kidding me, lady? Who hasn't tried to kill Odin? I just come back as a different thing. Let's take you to the Valkyries. So he goes to, like, this is the Fortress of the Valkyries. Good luck. <laughs> Basically, here's your next mission. Your next quest is to find the Valkyrie Fortress and do something cool with it oh this is great this is this is great you know i said it when we talked about superman recently you needed to find a way to reboot wonder woman that just added something to the character that hasn't really been explored before and this is a great way to do it because you are doing something unique and stylized and different with the character that is just so interesting and fun and cool it's very classic wonder woman but it's also like we're building a new mythos we're playing in a new world for the character we can go to all these different and cool places on top of some great writing the writing in this is just very fantasy it works so well you know i said it again with superman superman is very science fiction batman is very detective based this story is very epic fantasy stuff you know giant snakes of giant war as guardians valhalla you know all this stuff is just perfectly fantasy it's so cool and interesting i it's just a really fun book and it just surprised me at every turn with boston brand showing up that was great with the use of just like you shouldn't be here diana you should really just leave it's really fun and interesting stuff i i, I really enjoy what it's presenting i really do a great book a great book with great art man oh one of the best things on shelves right now i'm telling you read this buy it because i want more of this I want more of all of this, man. So, Wonder Woman, 772. I am going to give a 9 out of 10. Now, thank you guys for watching this review. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. As always, you can check me out on Instagram, Patreon, Twitter, all that good stuff. And I will catch you in the next one. Have fun. Stay safe. Good luck.